Okay, so, um, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, a little narration here. <clears throat> um, it actually hurts my back, believe it or not, to do this. I found out. But um, it maneuvers pretty well for this size of a machine. Um, it only has one hydro, so it's very similar to your riding tractor. And to steer it, you use your body to turn it left and right. Uh, that can be problematic for your back, I've come to find out. But... It maneuvers very well you basically could use only one hand now this is the very first day that I'm using it after I bought it from Billy Billy Goat Long Hair um, you can see that little strip of line that it leaves that's because it doesn't have a mulching capability the way it's set up right now so it's a little bit of a learning curve here and I'm kind of showing that I've already gone over this twice I end up going over it again because it doesn't seem to um, lay down a nice cut. And what I've come to find out in this mower's defense, because everybody likes this mower, I'm like, why do I get all the stuff that doesn't work right? Well, these are Ballard blades, mulching blades. They may work great on other mowers. They may make work great for other regions. But in this area that I'm at in Maryland, they don't work well on this kind of grass. It almost like butchers the cut when it cuts it. So I don't like them. So I ended up using it for a week or so and then I put the factory blades back on. Well, on for the first time for me. Night and day difference. I'll show a picture at the end of this of the same job a week later with the factory blades. Complete better cut. I didn't film any on this job because this is a commercial property that I do, and this is ideal for this kind of mower. Commercial property, commercial mower, heavy duty. The time cutter will cut this without any problem, but I have to adjust the height and go over it three times. Same thing, so it's not actually faster, but it makes a better cut. But when I put the factory blades back on, wow, what a difference. You wait till you see what it looks like with the factory blades. Now, I need to put the mulch kit in this thing because this, this mower just chews up the grass. I mean, it makes a lot of thatch. But, hey, I kind of, I really like this thing. I'm, it's grown on me. So, I'm a fan of it. I like it. Um, there's some things that could be improved with it. Of course, you know I'm going to say that if you follow me. I find something wrong with everything. But, it is what it is. And, I'm telling you, this thing is freaking cool cars were stopping and watching me cut the grass with this thing this is a commercial property so i'm always i got cars all the time just stopping and watching other guys who cut grass they're hanging out the window just watching me it's like this thing is a showstopper this mower is the star people literally like to see this mower it's phenomenal they don't care about me <laughs> but anyway the one thing the Ballard blades do is they do fire that grass out far. See how far it shot it out? That's great for a field, but not uh, for this mower and the application that you're going to be using this mower for. So I don't care what you do. Put whatever you want on them, but my experience so far, they were not good. And I'm pretty sure if Corey sees this, he's going to go all crazy on me. Ah, hey, you're not using them wrong. You're not using them right now. So anyway, I don't know. It is what it is. But I'm sure that it's, uh, they're not well for this mower. Maybe in a different application, maybe dry grass, I don't know. All this grass was a little damp, but, um, I like the mower. I'm going to say it right out. This mower is just freaking awesome. The, the reverse is king. To have that reverse is amazing. Why can't the Time Master have that? I don't understand. But this, this Ferris F15 is every, look, see the cars are stopped up again. They literally just watched me the whole time. It's it's weird. Um, and I was up there again this week. I had people... One lady stuck her head out the window. Is that a push mower? I'm like, no, it's it's actually a walk behind. You know, and so... It's kind of neat. Um, the swivel wheels? Oh my god, I don't know how anybody used it without the swivel wheels. You have to have those wheels swiveling. Now, I lock them when I put it in... Take it in transport. And then I unlock them. For this I want to get into that there's some manufacturing defect to this locking thing and I've seen other people have the same issue and I, I just think it's a powder coating issue or something like I don't know what it is but the one side won't lock easy 
But um, anyway, so I'm going to end up putting the mulch kit that he gave me. He gave me everything with it, so it's a pretty cool deal. Um, but I'm learning with this. So the, like, this is the very first cut, like first blood right here. I'm learning on this thing. It took me about a week to learn this thing, and now I got it. So um, I made a video because a lot of people were asking for it, and, and you know me, I got too much memory on my phone, so. Um, but yeah, this thing did put out a lot of grass, uh, a lot of grass clippings. It did. It, it didn't mulch it at all. It just cut it up and shot it out. So I was dealing with that, and um, that's a little bit of an issue on some things that I'm dealing with with some yards. But the factory blades work better. Um, I just can't explain how much better the factory blades work. Even on my Husqvarna, I went back to the factory blades. The factory blades work better. I guess it's just me. I don't know. You know. So like I said, here I'm learning with it, trying to go backward, using the, to shoot the grass out and stuff. Just, I mean, I was just having fun with this mower. You know. It's it's. There you go. So here you go, this is week two with the factory blades. Look at how much better it cut. I mean, what a difference. It cuts great. All right, so this is cut two in the same area and another property, so I'll let you watch this one and then it'll be a third one on the first day. So I, I got my use out of it. Like, that's why I bought it because I used the Time Master for all these yards and I used the crap out of it. It's falling apart, so I need something with a little bit more guts and bolts to it, so. A more gusto. There you go. I call this bower gusto. I don't know. Ferris F15. Gusto. Okay, here you go. This is cut three. And this is a property that I really wanted to use this mower on. But I ended up going back to the Time Master on the front yard because the customer liked the way it looked. So, but I use it in the backyard because believe it or not, it really helps. But um, it was fun to use and I'll use it again because I, she didn't even like the way it looked with the Ballard blades. So, you'll I, I, I'm going to cut it with the, with the factory blades. But I did the backyard and wow, it just turned out beautiful. But this is where it really hurts your back is just these turns like this where you got to use your whole body and um, that I'm not a fan of, but I'm learning it.
Well, there you go. That was the first day. Um, that's the backyard. Like I said, it was pretty thick, and the Ballard blades didn't do that great of a job, but it did cut pretty good. Um, and the mower uh, did its job. So there's the front there, how it looked. I had to cut it in a certain way um, to make it work with shooting it out to one side. So kind of gave it somewhat of a pattern. But like I said, um, using the factory blades, the cut comes out so much better, which I showed in that one picture. This is cut two. You can see how it, it, I'm learning still how to use it. And um, that property was pretty flat except for that one little spot that goes up and down. It, but it did a good job. And um, so there you go. That was my first day. Uh, first on the job. And this is how I transported it and locked everything down. And this is the second way that I transport it when I flip everything around. And then in the, in the next day or two, I did another job, which I had to go over this three times, and it turned out nice. But when I changed the blades, like I said, it turned out better again. So it transports pretty well, and that's something I do like. And you can see I've used it on a lot of jobs, and I've learned how to use it, and I got plenty of footage. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share. Factory blades, better. Bowder blades, no good. Thanks for watching. I think I scored on this deal.